Hi, this is Kevin, and I want to share with you a situation I recently came across when pulling some reports inside Catalyst. One day I opened up a report, and I saw something that looked like this. The same item multiple times through the report with different capitalizations. Turns out there were multiple developers working on this. Some of them liked all lowercase, some of them liked uppercase, some of them liked proper case, and now in my report I've got a mess. Now something like this is easy to fix. I can pop right in the S code file and force this variable to lowercase all the time or force it to uppercase, whichever I like, and that won't be a problem again. But who's to say that this situation isn't going to come up again next week or the week after that with new variables that I don't know anything about? How can I prevent this from ever happening again regardless of which variables get added to the page? Well, we've got a little bit of code that can help with that. What we have here is a simple test page where there's nothing really going on here except a simple H1 being set and we've got a little bit of code that just outputs the value of the debugger right to the screen so we can see what's going on. Let's take a look at the actual code to this page and we can see there's really there's nothing going on here. We have a simple site catalyst call and there's that little bit of code that outputs the debugger. In the site catalyst call we see we have a handful of variables being set. We've got a page name that's all in uppercase, we've got the channel in uppercase, uh, prop1 one, prop, prop one and evar1 are both in uppercase, prop2 is in a proper case, prop3 is all mixed up, prop4 we've got dynamic variables, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. So looking at this page we can see that all the variables are being passed in exactly as how they're set on the page. Now I want everything to be forced to lowercase. I don't want this to be a problem ever again with possible uppercase and proper case and everything all mixed up. So what can I do to prevent this now and every variable going forward in the future? Well, what we can do is jump right into the S code file and right in our do plugin section, right before the end of it, we can add in this one little block of code. Now what this is going to do is it's going to look through every single prop, every single evar, your products variable, your page name, your channel, everything. And if it's found there, it's going to force everything to lowercase. Let's go ahead and save that. And we'll go back to our test page and we're going to refresh it. There we go. We see everything has now been forced to lowercase. You'll also notice that prop 4 it was a dynamic variable. That hasn't been changed. The dynamic variable needs to be start with a capital D for it to work. So the code recognizes that, sees we have a capital D there, and it's just going to skip dynamic variables. Everything else from the hierarchies to the channel, the page name, everything's been now forced to lowercase. I can add in variables all day long, and all of them are going to get picked up right away without having to add any additional code other than the, the simple little code block at the end of the do plugin section. So there we go, all variables fixed, everything forced to lowercase, now and in the future.